Welcome. In today's project, we'll walk through the process of how to build this camping chair. For materials, we'll need one piece of wood with the dimensions of 2 by 10 by 8. I'm using cedar, however pine can also be used to save on cost, wood stain and sealer, and paint brushes. For tools, we will need either a miter saw or circular saw, a jigsaw, and a drill. To start off, cut the boards to size. You'll cut two boards at 2 by 10 by 36 inches. I'm using a miter saw, but a circular saw would do the job as well. Next, we will cut the backboard. To start off, we will measure 11 and 12 and a half inches from the bottom of the board and draw two lines with a carpenter's square or a straight edge. After this is complete, measure in 1.5 inches from each side. This will give us the outline of the rectangle we need to cut out of the backboard. Drill pilot holes with a drill to allow space for our saw blade. Then take your saw and carefully cut out the rectangle that you created. To cut the seat, we will measure 25 inches from the bottom of the board and draw a straight line. Then measure one and a half inches from each side and draw a line with a straight edge to the bottom of the board. Take your saw and cut along the lines that you just drew. After you have completed your cuts, try to see if the seat will fit into the back side of the board. More than likely, you will need to make some adjustments in order to get it to fit. You will want to slowly make these adjustments in order to ensure a secure fit between the two boards. Once the pieces fit together, check out your new chair. Before we apply a stain, we need to quickly sand the boards. I started with 60 grit sandpaper and then moved up to 120 followed by 220. The last step will be to stain the boards. For this project, I am using Ready Steel Dark Walnut. I have found that this stain and sealer holds up well for chairs that will spend a decent amount of time outside. Once completed, take your chair out to your favorite camping spot and enjoy. I hope that you enjoyed today's project. If you found the video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.